Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Sim 17. Uh, we're back at the shop. You may remember the end of the last episode. Uh, we took this thing all the way to the manure, not the manure, the greenhouse farm kind of thing. Well, someone commented that this silage fork that I was looking at last time also does manure. I did not even look at the uh, types of things it picked up. So it does uh, grass, hay, straw, chaff, manure, uh, silage. Uh, whereas the bucket does all those things and then like grains and seeds and stuff. So what I'm going to do is just sell the bucket because we have our tractors for seeds and all that little thing, little all those little things. Um, so we're going to get almost full price. It'll be fine. We didn't lose too much money on that. And we're just going to buy a silage fork because they can hold 10,000 liters of this stuff, whereas this only held six, which is still really great. Um, but for what we'll be using it for, which for the wheel loader will mostly just be manure and silage, we might as well get the thing that picks up 10,000 liters. Uh, we can fill three greenhouses with one scoop. We'll be able to really sell silage quickly, I think. And it just looks cool. Uh, and it's something I've actually never used, which is probably why I didn't even consider that it would also pick up manure. So now that that little task is finished, I will skip ahead so we are back at the greenhouses uh, so we can start filling those up with manure. Oh boy. All right. That is quite the drive from the shop to the greenhouses, but we are here. Uh, we just don't really have a lot of manure. So if we go to one of our tractors... Is it this one? Yeah, okay. We have 21,000 manures, which will get us, let's see, each greenhouse takes 3,000. Ooh, it's getting dusk out here. It's getting really nice twilighty evening. Um, each greenhouse holds 3,000, 369, so 12,000. So we can fill up our greenhouses almost twice, uh, which will help us make quite a bit of profit over the next few days. And then maybe by then our pigs and cows will have even more manure for us and we should be fine for now from now on I would think um, am I gonna hit this car oh no okay I made it he's fine he had the right away but too bad I'm not the NPC so we're gonna need to disconnect well no we, sh we should be fine if I just drive through I have the correct tipper selected. I need to make sure it's coming out the back. And then... Oh, whoops. I am hitting the... Okay, green door is actually... I like that a lot better. So now we can unload... There we go. Piles and piles of fresh, solid manure ready for our tomatoes and our lettuce. Oh, the camera is just freaking out over this manure. It is having such a great time watching this pile of manure rise. Uh, yeah, there is no point for this shelter. I just made that because I, I liked it. In case, in case you were wondering, like, do I have to dump it under a shelter? No. Purely aesthetic. All right. Let's get to morning. No, wait. We might as well dump our manure at night, and then we'll make money. All right, here's here goes the silage fork. I've never used it. I hope it's not messy. We'll we'll see what happens. It is very wide. Um, I guess that's to the ground. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, look at it pile up. Okay, that's awesome. That is really satisfying. Hopefully it's not too dark to see. Um, but I think it'll be... Nah, it doesn't matter. Let's go to morning. I know the video gets so dark at night. Ah, there we go. Never a better time to... Uh, dump manure into greenhouses than early in the morning. Just about supper time, really. Wait, early in the evening. I don't know. It's a song. Okay. Let's see if I... Oh, gosh. This might be too... 
Uh, there. Well, that's one other disadvantage to the wheel loader. Is that it can't... There we go. It can't extend its arm like the telehandler. But we... That should be the most difficult one to reach. So we should be good. Oh, a lot of power. Come on. That is a steep hill. So now, instead of making... $90 a day from each greenhouse. As long as I have water in them, which I should probably check. We will now make twice that. 180. So we're making almost, what's a little under, what, 720? I don't want to do math right now, but 720-ish dollars a day just from greenhouses, which is pretty spectacular. We can also always add like one or two more now that we have lots of manure at the ready and we should have water. I mean, we're right by the lake, which is why I put it here. Uh, let's go ahead and just fill this up again. If it lets me. There we go. Look at it. Just eat that pile of manure. So good. We can also start getting slurry since we have a lot of liquid fertilizer. Or we can just sell it, but really you make very, very little amounts of money off selling it. Like I think, oh gosh, what, like $10 every thousand or something like that? No, I'm way off. So f about $50 per thousand liters. So you get half a grand for every 10,000. Yeah, that's probably not worth selling. We might as well use it for slurry and save ourselves fertilizer money. Okay, we'll just leave this basically right here and let's check on our water yeah might as well fill it up just really tend to our greenhouses and then we don't have to really worry about them for a couple days all right good old silage fork I just have never I've never bothered with it but 10,000 is is quite nice to be able to uh, to pick up at once and just go ahead and fill them all up real quick. So, so if we got two more greenhouses, that would be two trips with the silage fork, and then two, four, six. Uh, it'd be six thousand liters. So what do we have? Six. And it'd be two trips with the um, water. So it might be worth doing that. And a lot of times I'll just do it off camera anyway, so it doesn't really... I, I don't usually show myself filling it up every time just because it's sort of... You have to do it quite often, right? Every couple days it runs out. Three days, I think. Something like that. I'm not... I've never actually used greenhouses enough to remember the numbers, but... They are a really nice moneymaker. Like, it's, it's crazy to me that a full water, like a watered and manured greenhouse makes more than a solar panel. Of course, solar panels you don't have to mess with. Like, you just put them down and rake in the money. But I think this will be worth it for quite a while longer. All right, so we have straw. We probably need to feed pigs. Ooh, pallets are going up too. Might need to check on that and maybe sell a couple. Um, all right, pigs need f watered as well, but we can wait a little bit on that. They definitely need food, or we can just sell some again. Let's just sell a few. I, or, or I'm not at the point where I want to have too many. At some point, we'll keep. We'll usually start selling them when they're around, like eighty, to ninety, pigs in our pen. Uh, but for now, just just because we have a lot of other things to do, we'll just go ahead and. Make some money, and then the food won't be a big deal. Yeah, we'll just wait a little longer on that. We need to find our other tractor and really get started on planting. It has been so long since we've planted anything because that chaff just took up our lives for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, so we'll park this here, I think, is probably the best place. And get our 
So now, okay, so now the question is, do we want to go ahead and just start slurrying now? How much is a slurry? Slurry, slurry. So if we want like a nice one, like this one, 30 meters, we could put this on our uh, cultivator. Or no, this. This would go on our cultivator we already own. This is 12, which isn't bad, but it's 36,000. I'd really like to just save up for this. I mean, I think if we're going to do it, we might as well. Then we'll also probably want this as well and an overfill. Okay. So we're not going to quite do slur yet, but we're 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 thinking about it. It is it is in the near future, but I think for this round of beans, we will just finish this up. And uh maybe after the next harvest we'll have enough. And if we sell a few pallets, that'll help. So Ah, feels good to be planting again. Holy cow, it's been a while. Alright, let's get this back to the farm, and then we might go look at our sheep pallets, um, and at least get them on the trailer. Maybe take, if we have a couple, let's see, if they're 8,000 a piece, that'd be 16,000 per pallet, because there's 2,000 liters, so we'd make 32,000 if we had two pallets ready, which... Might be worth it. We'll see. We at least need to go get them on the trailer just so we kind of can get a count. Alright, we'll unload our straw and it might be worth picking up some hay since we're going over there. Might as well. Oh, sorry guy. Or gal, I didn't look. Oh, this is such a... Nope, I don't think we're going to make it. Darn it. Okay. That spout is just so close to the barn, or the loft, whatever they call it. Alright. Just get a few haze in here. Is that, that going to be enough? Um, the probably won't quite fill it, but I also don't want to bring any back, so... Now we can get to our sheep. Okay, so we have two... Oh gosh, I don't even know if that pallet's full yet. I wonder if we need to buy a few more sheep, because they are huge money makers, and we have the hay and water to... I mean, we we can we could do it. It's just a matter of if we want to invest the money we have. Which I really don't right now. I really want to get slurry. The slurry industry started. Um... Hmm, how many sheep do we have? 28? Yeah, we could really have like 50. And they're 4,000 a piece, so we couldn't even buy 10. Huh. Well, how full is that? 89% only. Wow. Yeah, let's buy sheep. Let's just get a few more. So I don't even need to take them off the pallet. We're not to that point yet. Let's buy two more, get it to 30. Um, won't help a ton, but I don't want to spend too much more money on that. So, how much are pallets going for? Or wool, I should say. 80, yeah, it can be better. We can get, uh, you know what we could do? We can start setting up our pig thing, our, our, uh, pig feed system. Where, I was talking about making four large piles of food. We already have beets over there. And then just getting um, belt picker uppers and just using those to kind of automate or pseudo automate the cow cow feed because we have the crops to really maintain a lot of cows it's just a matter of taking trips all the time to feed them and if we just had huge piles of food we could just take one trip with like 20,000 foods uh, and just leave it in a big old pile. I think we're gonna, st yeah, let's start that. Since they need fed anyway, we already have the beets. We can get, um, why, why do I always go here when I know that I have to go here? It's because I'm talking. Oh, jeez. Okay. This spout's a little better. All right, let's get corn. Oh. Well, it looks like we need corn. And then either wheat or barley, whichever I have more of. So let's just fill up with wheat. 
Okay, so the next field is going to get corn. Actually, we'll do corn on the big field over on a 12. Or we could do 14 and 12. I think we should just go for it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, corn takes a little longer to plant because we don't have a cultivator slower s cultivator sower like we do for the soybeans. But it's definitely time because we will probably run out right now, and that's really, really bad. Really bad. But we can always sell pigs and things if they're if the food runs out, so it's not too big a deal, I guess. But we don't want to sell too many because they take too long to breed, so we'll figure it out. Oh, this hill is so annoying. This also reminds me we probably need to invest in a really powerful tractor for hauling these around. And then we'd have two pretty good tractors for, like, planting and stuff. Uh, but I think those are several hundred thousand dollars, if I remember correctly. Which we could just check real fast. I'm talking, like, this side of the spectrum. Like that. So yeah, we need about 250, 300,000. Okay. Um, this guy's done. Oh my gosh, that was too many buttons. So let's go ahead and get the cultivator and start cultivating. Um, it might be worth investing in a better cultivator, actually. Because ours is so small. I think we have this one, which is 6 meters. And we could probably haul... We just don't have the money for it. Oh, man. Okay. Something else we need to look for is a bigger cultivator. Probably big... Um, I can't remember what corn silver we have. It's been so long. But anyway, we can set this stuff... Is that our biggest corn silver? I guess so. Okay, so we need to invest in corn production equipment as well. Which will probably come before the slurry, I think, because that's... This is going to be really slow. But... That's all we have, so... Yeah, so this cultivator does take that slurry tank, that sewer hammer one. But I think it's better to... I think it's going to be worth just getting a large cultivator and a large slurry... Uh, tank, spreader, whatever you want to call it. So let's start cultivating. And we'll get back to our pigs. So then it's a question of once we have these four beautiful piles of food. Gosh, I'm never taking this way again. I thought it was going to be faster, but this hill is so slow with this, with this tractor. Um, so once we get our four piles, it's going to be a question of if we want one belt for each pile, which we probably do, because once you like kind of contaminate a belt with anything else, then you have to empty it or drop it. It becomes kind of annoying. We can probably also make a big pile of straw and do the same. Uh, but anyway, for now, let's see, there's beets. We'll want our wheats right next to it. I don't think they'll mix. Um, we'll find out going to be a lot of wheat. I'm trying to make it go like more lengthwise than widthwise because we want to fit all four of them sort of right in front of the uh, food trough. Okay, that should be good. Yes, I could have um, and should have probably fed them first. I just totally forgot. We might not even have enough corn to make a pile. Let's just feed them. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. So we need canola and corn. Ah, oh, that's the wrong button. So if we go here, um, canola. Okay, let's go. Hmm. So we would need four picker-uppers, which are cheap. And then it's just a matter of lots of trips to get them here. And then we need maybe one for straw. And just get a big old pile of straw in that shed there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The uh, tippers took me there. 
So, this corn planting is uh, becoming a little desperate. I was not keeping an eye on it well enough, but we should be fine. Um, that should grow soon, and then we can... Well, no, it won't, because we haven't planted it yet, but we'll get there. a bigger cultivator. I wonder if we could scrounge up money somehow. We can make a little bit from pallets. Uh, do we have any crop that we can sell? I think we already did soybeans. Empty, 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 empty. Oh, we're going to be empty of canola too. Oh gosh. Okay. So it looks like... Oh, jeez. I missed it. That's crazy. Come on. Okay. It looks like we will need to plant field 12 with canola. Which I could just do right now. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little break with this tractor and get canola going. So we'll have field 14 with canola. So let's just set these tippers off. Set them off here. Get our cultivator sower. Which I don't know if we need to fill up with anything. Should be good. Um, we don't have fertilizer. Anyway, let's switch to C2. Oh, we can also always do a horse, horse, radish, seed, radish, whatever it's called. Oil radish, if we need to. Um, but right now we need canola. We need lots of canola. So let's go ahead and start that. Okay, so I think I will let this and this finish off camera and when we come back for the next ep oh my gosh excuse me it, i'm recording in the morning which is super rare for me so i'm just like yeah you can probably tell um anyway we will continue next time once all these fields are planted and continue working on our pig feed system thank you so much for watching have yourselves a very nice day